I'll tell you what, man, it's really hard right now for men to be men because women are being forced from a very young age into, into a masculine role, right? And they're, they're learning to, you know, they, not, they're, they're forced to uh, embrace more of their masculine energy, which is, which is not better or worse, it just is, right? And so for a man in a, in a current relationship to step up and start stepping into the masculine and, and, and maybe being assertive and being reliable and, and being the one who's, um, you know, kind of the, the rock of the house, someone who's, who's leading the household, may get met with some resistance, right? Like, oh, I, I can handle this for myself. I got this. Yeah, of course you can. But I want to I want to help you. I want to do it for you. Like, I want you to just relax, right? I'm like as a man, my my I guess my my vision of a man is the provider, right? The the caretaker, the yeah, the leader. And so a woman has to be willing to meet a man where he is or where he wants to go and be vulnerable enough to allow the man to be the protector, to be the leader, to be the contributor, the person who's contributing the most, you know? And I know that gets met with resistance. Like women are, ca- yes, women are absolutely capable of doing it. But I think in order to receive success or achieve success in a relationship, there has to be a polarity. And the absence of polarity is ultimately causes causes repulsion, right? So when when a woman is being more masculine and a man is being more feminine, based on you know the roles as being defined in, in in society, it literally causes repulsion and fighting. And so if a woman allows a man to be more masculine, uh, therefore allowing her to be more feminine, to be the receiver, to be the caretaker, to be the lover, which I believe is her true essence, there there should start to become more polarity, which is more attraction. Because like, man, I guarantee there's women out there who are repulsed by their men right now because he's being feminine. I guarantee there's men out there who are repulsed by their women because they're being masculine. And it requires some grace. It requires some like, some space, some forgiveness, some patience with like an intentionality, like deep intentionality around like, hey, I see where you're going. I see what you're doing. And I want to support you in that mission. And here's another thing that I learned very recently from a guy that I'm coaching with. Everything is circumstantial. So just because I'm masculine in one circumstance doesn't mean I need to be masculine in all circumstances. And that was a really big aha moment for me. And that really actually helped my current relationship enormously. Because if I'm not showing up in my masculine in, say, a certain circumstance, an example being date night, I don't give a shit where we go for date night. I don't care what we eat. I don't care what we do. So I end up taking a passive role. I'm following. It's it's a feminine role. And then my partner steps up and she's planning things and she she's doing it. I, I kind of I divert to her. And I mean she resents me. She's like, well, he doesn't care about it. He doesn't want to plan these dates with me. I'm like, no, I just don't give a shit where we eat. So if we don't have a, an agreement that, hey, babe, would you mind being masculine in this role? And you plan, you do all the things, you do what you want to do. And I'm just going to be the receiver. I'm just going to come along with you. I'm going to have a great time. If we don't have an agreement on that, then there's there's animosity, right? There's resentment and there's repulsion. That was a very important thing for me. So even though I I, I believe that I'm show up masculine in most circumstances, certain things I'm like, babe, I don't care what you put on the on the furniture, I don't care what you put on the walls, you take the lead on that. Okay? Yes, got it. Then there's an agreement, right? There's there's an expectation that's then the clear. And so when we have mismanaged expectations, we fail, right? So we want to make sure that there's clear expectations, there's clear communication on who's going to do what in each role. And that allows us to have uh, more polarity. My girl is going to take care of my my certain things. She's going to be masculine in those things. And, and I can just sit back and be passive. You know, best example that you hear all the time is like, my husband didn't take out the trash. He's like, I don't value the trash. I didn't want to take it out. Well, as long as you guys have an agreement, like, hey, babe, I expect you to take out the trash. Guys, they pick it up Wednesday morning. Please take it out Tuesday night by 9 p.m. Perfect. There's an agreement. Do you agree to that? Yes. I hold that responsibility. Perfect. Right? So I think in life, this this level of communication and expectation is the way we start to create more polarity and the way we start to create more attraction. Polars, pol- polarity creates attraction, right? So I think learning about these um circumstances has been very helpful for me in ultimately creating hopefully successful future relationships yeah that's awesome I, i'm in a tony robbins community uh, as i mentioned to you you know the two million two millimeter club here in tampa so you obviously will need to come to a couple of our meetups and stuff and 
uh, that's something that we talk about in that community uh, quite frequently is because I know Tony talks about that polarity and the masculine, and the feminine and the three C's and the three U's and uh, that. But what you just said, damn, you spot on, Ben, like that, especially with the circumstances, because it's true. It's it, it, there a lot of times you, it's like they, people think it's like a global belief, masculine and everything, feminine and everything. And they don't narrow it down to like, what are the, the, the little wins, uh, the, the little conversations, the little uh, activities that need um, that energetic. And what happens is if it's an immature masculine, then what's going to happen is they're going to think, um, oh, but if I'm losing control, then I'm not good enough. So I'm going to project to this immaturity. And then it becomes this like little boy versus the little girl energy. And that's not what we want either because that's unhealthy in the relationship. So I, I really love, I, I love what you just said there. Yeah. And I would say like, as a strong man, I don't in any way want to disempower my woman. I, I want to lift her up in every way possible, right? Every way possible. So I want her to be, to live in her power. So she doesn't feel like she has to be masculine. She can do what she naturally wants to do. It's more of a creative energy, right? We're going to, we're going to lift up that creative energy, allow her to, to, to live in that feminine and never am I trying to bring that down. I think that's important for men to acknowledge is like, and sometimes women to acknowledge, like, I don't want men to control me. There's no control. There's simply support, right? Like if I can take those things away from you that maybe you don't value, maybe you don't want to be doing, and you were simply doing it because you had to, you stepped up into that role like, like a champion. You took it on like you had to. Well, maybe I can take those away from you, allow you to focus your time and energy and consciousness on things that you actually value. Oh, okay. Then, then so, I mean, this is a lot of communication, right? A lot of communication. I'm very blessed to have a partner who is incredibly communicative. And um, I'm so blessed for that. Because honestly, it's not my default. Uh, throughout my life, I've had really bad examples of relationships uh, as far as like my parents. Um, very unhealthy relationships. Most of my relationships throughout time, I wouldn't say they were bad, but they certainly weren't exceptional. They were not communicative. They were circumstantial and, and useful in the time. Um, but now for me to create a relationship that, you know, kind of works because everyone's come into a relationship with baggage. Everyone's got beliefs and they got thoughts and they got ways of being that we got to kind of unwind and learn how to like massage them and find how ways we can fit. And if we don't fit, then it's not going to work. Right. So if you're committed to making it work with somebody, you, you got to communicate on every level. And I'll tell you what, my partner's way better at that than I am. So I'm very blessed. Hmm.